Right, gentlemen uh, and ladies, we're uh, moving on into the night. So, as you know, Gennady Golovkin and Sergei Derevenchenko both taken to the hospital uh, for precautionary measures. Uh, I believe both fine, both exhausted after a fantastic fight. Um, obviously, as always, with scoring, I believe that uh, Triple G did enough to pip the fight in the last couple of rounds. It's not a view shared by my esteemed colleagues here, but what we do know is it was a tremendous fight for the world title, and I think both guys deserve a huge amount of credit. So we're going to open the floor to questions uh, for Luda Bella, Sergei Derevenchenko's manager, Keith Connolly, uh, sorry, promoter, Keith Connolly, uh, Sergei's manager, Tom Loeffler from Triple G Promotions, and Jonathan Banks as well. Over to you for questions. Okay. Well, you asked them all over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lou? Oh, yeah, go. Sorry, go. I have a question for Lou. You mentioned uh, this was the most punches, power punches connected against Triple G in his career. Yeah, I, I, I um, you know, I, I didn't look, I didn't know the punch stats. I was obviously watching, I was sitting in the crowd, but I knew that we had landed them. I knew. Uh, but then when I got over to the desk and I, and I got the punch stats, the most power punches ever landed on Triple G in his career. Was, I'm sorry, the most power punches ever landed on Triple G in his career prior to tonight were 202 by Canelo in the rematch. Tonight, Sergey landed 230. Sergey also threw about 150 more power punches than, than Triple G did. Um, you know, the, the punch stats were pretty clear. And, and um, you know, I, I just think that it, that it was unfortunate. What really bummed me out about tonight is, I mean, the, the, that was like a Gaddy Ward fight. And, it, and, and, and Sergey was cut like a stuck pig the way that, that, that Gaddy was often. And, but it was fought at a skill level of like the elite guys in the game because they were two of the elite guys in the game. Triple G's already cemented his legacy. He's done it many, many times. And, 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 and he's already going to go down in history. Tonight was Sergey's night. That was his moment. And, and I just feel gutted for him that I don't, I'm not going to call the judge's decisions a robbery. I mean, I've seen robbery robberies. This wasn't a robbery. But Sergey was robbed of his defining moment. You know, I've been looking up, I, I just looked at my Twitter feed for two minutes, and a lot of people were aghast that the crowd was booing Triple G. And I put up a tweet, because I really mean this, they weren't booing Triple G. Nobody in their right mind would boo Triple G. No fight fan can boo Triple G. Triple G is be, one of the great fighters in the history of our game, one of the great guys in the history of boxing. And by the way, he fought a great fight tonight, just didn't win. And they were booing what they just thought was an unjust decision. And I got, I mean, I'm not gonna use the word robbery, but do I think it was a just decision? No, I don't, I never will. I mean, I, you know, I, I, I was scoring the fight as honestly as I could. I wasn't sitting there giving rounds. I didn't think my guy went one to him. And, 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 I, and I, I, I scored at 8-4, uh, you know, on rounds. I mean, I, I, I thought that there was the two-point round, obviously, so I, but I had a three-point fight. I mean, I, I didn't go into the ring believing necessarily we were going to get the decision because the star gets, you know, this happens so often in our sport. But tonight was Sergei Derevchenko's night. It was. And, and, and he did it not only, it, it, I mean, Gennady always used that expression, big drama show. This was the biggest drama show of Gennady Golovkin's career in the ring. It was. I mean, he went to hell and back tonight. If he didn't, I said it before, but if his chin wasn't the greatest in boxing, and it is, and by the way, Sergei's is pretty amazing on his own right, but if he didn't have, he would have been knocked out. He got bombs landed on him, bombs. And, and he did it the whole time, barely able to see. He was cut in the second round. That was a savage cut. You know, credit to the commission doctors and credit to the cut man and, and, and the fact that that fight wasn't stopped and fans weren't deprived from seeing such a memorable event, you know? Okay, and credit we, to the zone, too, because what a great fight. I mean, we've been saying coming in we knew it was going to be a great fight, but that was a fight that I'm never going to forget. As a promoter, I'm never going to forget that fight. And I'm probably never going to stop feeling gutted by it.
Yes, sir. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe here to Fino Boxing by clicking right here and follow us at all our social media platforms. And my personal one is Adriana underscore sports.